People with a tracheostomy tube routinely need help clearing their airways. This is done through a process called suctioning. When a person coughs, secretion passes through the airway tube. The tracheostomy tube can act as an obstruction in the airway. Suctioning is used to clear the airway. Only suction a person when it's needed. This is not a scheduled procedure. You can tell when a person needs to be suctioned by feeling their chest. You may feel rumbling, gurgling, or wheezing as they breathe. A person may also feel when they are congested, and they may tell you that they need to be suctioned. Before you get started on any procedure, be sure to wash your hands thoroughly for at least 20 seconds with soap and warm water. And always use a clean pair of gloves. Your medical equipment supplier will provide you with a suction aspirator machine. There are many brands and the buttons may be in different places, but they all generally operate in the same manner. Besides the suction aspiration machine, you will need suction catheters, paper cups or small medicine cups, gloves, hand sanitizer, distilled water or a saline bullet, and an oral suction wand. Here's how the machine works. The suction pump is typically battery operated. Remember to keep it charged, so plug it in every night. If there's no power to the machine, chances are the battery is dead and needs to be recharged. You can always use the AC power cord to run the machine. That's why it's always important to keep the AC power cord with the machine. There is a collection canister. Place the canister in the holder of the machine. The canister has a lid. On the bottom is a bevel. Do not turn the canister upside down or on its side where secretions can get caught in the bevel. Snap the lid securely into place. Make sure it is fully seated all the way around so it is sealed. The machine will not achieve suction if the lid is not properly sealed. Seal any open compartments. Connect the suction tube with the filter to the machine. Make sure a clean filter is installed in the filter holder. The filter ensures that secretions from the canister do not get sucked into the machine. There are two ports on the lid. Connect the other end of the filtered tube to the port labeled vacuum. Connect the long tube to the port labeled patient. Turn the machine on and test for suction. Place your finger over the end of the tube. You should feel suction. If you do not feel suction, check all of the connections. Start at the machine first by disconnecting the hose and check for suction. If you feel suction there, reconnect the tube and move to the next connection and feel for suction. At the point where you don't feel suction, there's a blockage. Clear the blockage and then reconnect this point to firmly achieve suction. To start the procedure, prepare your suction catheter. Pour distilled water into the cup. Open the suction catheter package and remove the paper tray to create a clean work area. Do not touch the catheter. Inside the paper, you'll find a pair of sterile gloves. Point the fingers away from you. If you're using a straight catheter, you'll need to have your own sterile glove to perform the procedure. Double glove your dominant hand with the sterile glove. This is the hand that you will use to perform the suctioning. Open the glove from the bottom and be careful not to touch your fingers. If you contaminate your hand or the catheter, do not proceed. Start over with a clean kit. Now, you may take the suction catheter out of the sterile tray. If you do not have a medicine cup for distilled water, you can use the sterile tray. Attach the sterile catheter to the suction hose connected to the machine. Unwrap the hose and move to the person. 
A helpful tip is to keep your hand above your head so you don't contaminate the sterile catheter. When preparing the catheter, hold it like a bow and arrow above your arm. Bend the tip as you are holding it like a pencil. Do not hold the catheter under your arm as you may risk contaminating the catheter. Lubricate the tip of the catheter in the distilled water. Now you're ready to suction the patient. First, you need to turn the machine on. Keep the catheter sterile by wrapping it around your clean hand. Use your other hand to turn the power on. Slowly insert the catheter into the trach tube until you feel resistance. Once you feel resistance, pull the catheter back about an eighth of an inch. To create suction, hold your thumb over the hole at the other end of the catheter. This creates suction power. Twirl the catheter inside the trach tube while gently pulling it out using your other hand. Allow the person to catch their breath. Rinse the catheter in distilled water. Repeat the suctioning process. Do this as many times as needed until the airway is clear or until the person tells you that the trach is clear of obstruction. Once you are done, wrap up the catheter inside your sterile hand. Disconnect it from the suction tube and remove your double glove with the catheter inside. Dispose of the glove and the catheter. Once you're finished, you'll need to clean the canister. Remove the tubing and the lid. Do not dispose of the secretions in your sink. This can clog drains. Instead, always dispose of them in the toilet. Use soap and hot water to thoroughly clean the canister and lid. Place them on a clean paper towel to dry. Shake out any remaining moisture from the bevel until all of the moisture is out. Reseat the lid onto the canister and reassemble the suction machine. Place it in the carrying case and reattach the tubes. And you're done.